today I wanted to talk about my next little series I've decided to do about videos. Growing up I've always got questions of how do you do your hair like that? How do you do your makeup like that? And honestly I thought everybody knew how to do that. So um, I was a little shocked and so I decided well let's be a teacher to everybody and let's um, start a blog series about the basics. And so that's what I've decided to do. Today we're going to be talking about hair basics. All the tools that you should have. Um, I'm also going to be using drugstore products so you don't have to have a lot of money um, to purchase all these products. I certainly don't have bukus of money to spend on the stuff that's going to make your hair look like a pussycat doll. I don't have time or the money to do all that. So this is what we're going to start with the basics and this is the hair basics. So today um, we're going to start I'm going to show you what all products I use, um, what I've sh shown to work best for my hair as well. Um, so it all starts with washing. So what I have decided to show you, this is probably the best shampoo that I've found. You can find it in any Walgreens, CVS, drugstore, Kroger, wherever. Um, it's going to be the Pantene Sheer Volume. Um, my hair's not really thin. But I do notice that once it gets a little bit longer, it starts getting flat on the top. So I figured, why not show this? And since using it, I have noticed that there's a little bit more volume. This claims to um, give you thick, full body hair for 24 hours. That's true. This is second day hair. So I'd say it's doing its job. Um, and so I also, I have the shampoo and then I also have the conditioner, which you can both find these any drugstore across the nation. They're not very expensive. I'll link um, the links to where I found them below along with prices. So you can run out and get you some there. Okay, so that's with washing. Next, um, styling. What um, I have found to be the best thing, as soon as you get out of the shower, you've kind of towel dried your hair off, um, you always want to spray in some heat protectant. Um, I've only been using this for about three months and I have noticed a difference. My hair is a lot shinier. I don't feel as bad about curling it, straightening it, blow drying it as I used to and it protects up to 450 degrees. So that's a great item to have um, in your basics and um, I want to say this wasn't very expensive either. I want to say I got it at Walgreens. Um, a lot of my products I get at the drugstore. So um, that's that for our heat protectant. Um, another product I use if my hair's wet and I don't feel like blow drying it, straightening it, curling it, I just don't have the time. My hair's naturally wavy, so a lot of times I'll put some of this in it. Herbal Essences Curl, Curl Scrunching Gel. You put it in it and usually I'll sleep on wet hair. I don't recommend doing that because sometimes you can get sick, <laughs> but I'll sleep in my wet hair and as soon as I wake up in the morning, it's wavy, perfect, ready to go, and I don't have to do anything else to it. So that's another basic that you need. And if your hair is wavy or curly, um, that would be a great pro basic product to have. Um, okay, so we'll talk about styling tools. Um, of course, every girl has to have your bobby pins and your hair ties. These are like gold when it comes to <laughs> comes to a girl who has long hair um, so I use the goody outlets and I usually try to get one that matches my hair color I, I switch in between the black and the brown the brown I think looks better because it blends in with your hair color and I don't it just looks better it has a more finished polished look got these at Target I think or Walmart or somewhere or drugstore um, I also use the Con Air bobby pins. They're the cheapest that I have found, and they have a ton. And they come, I want to say they come in a couple different shades of brunette. These are a little bit lighter for my hair, so they're kind of shiny. Um, but you can ask my husband. He finds these all over the house because I have so many of them, and I use them on a daily basis. Okay, the next product we're going to talk about brushes okay so this brush I got 
Um, my hair used to be down to the middle of my back and I cut it not too long ago. So when I went to go get it cut at the salon, the um, hairdresser was using this brush to blow dry it. And it's kind of neat because it's curved. So you can also give like what you would do with the roller brush, but it's actually a paddle brush. So I thought that was so neat that I went out and got one and it was $12, I think. Global Keratin. I got it at Gould's where I got my hair done at. Um, but I'm sure you could probably find this product on the internet somewhere other than Gould's. Um, but I use this brush all the time when I blow dry my hair and it gives just the amount of perfect curl, gives you extra body, and it's just a great brush. Okay, um, now we're gonna have um, every southerner's best friend, if you're from the south, you know what this is, a teasing comb. Um, I have actually a couple different teasing combs. This is probably my second favorite. Um, I like just the regular single comb with the metal um, rat tail at the end. So, um, it's up to you. This one, I think the, the multiple combs will give you more body, give you more of a tease effect. Um, it works just the same. And you can find these at the beauty supply place psh, for cheap, cheap, cheap. So get you a couple. Um, I use mine almost every day just to get some extra body in my hair. So that's a definite basic. All right, now hair tools. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is my hair dryer that I currently use. But out so soon. And I seriously think this thing is from like 1994. <laughs> it's so old, but it still does a great job. That's why I want to do these videos to show people that you don't have to go out and spend $100 on a hair dryer or a straightener or a curling iron. You don't have to spend all that money. There's just as good of products out there without that brand name that work just as well. So um, I have the Vidal Sassoon Professional 1500 hair dryer. Had it for years, does a great job. And um, honestly, until it breaks, I probably won't get a new one. So that's that. Um, curling iron. Actually, what I curled my hair with today, or yesterday, is the Conair Instant Heat. I'm not sure what size barrel this is, I want to say it's probably about three quarters of an inch. It's a smaller one. Um, I also have a one inch and a one and a half inch just for different um, size curls or different looks that I want to do. Um, I, When I had my long hair, I would use the half inch, but now that my hair is shorter, I don't want as big a curls. I still want a tight curl. So I switched to my three quarter inch and I use this Anytime I go out for work, anything like that, I use it. And like I said, it gives tight enough a curl. I mean, this is second day hair people. And it's still pretty, pretty curly. So it does a good job. Um, I will actually be using this in my um, basic curl, how to curl your hair video. So if you wanna see how well it works, you can definitely um, subscribe and watch that video as well. Oh, and I think I got this at Target or Walmart and it wasn't more than about 20 bucks. It was super cheap and it does a great job. Heats up really fast. Um, it's a high degree. It does great. Alrighty and then for straighteners I use my Andy's Multi Heat Ceramic Straightener. Um, I was a little skeptical about buying this because it does have um, an African American woman on the front. So I didn't know if it was for African American hair or Caucasian hair and I asked the girl at the checkout line she said I think it would work either way. And honestly, this is probably the best straightener that I've had in a while. Heats up really high um, and it does a great job. Heats up fast. Uh, and honestly, I wanna say this is better than any chi that I've used or any other straightener that I've used, honestly. This does a great job. Got this at Target want to say it was about mm, 30 or 40 bucks maybe I'm not sure I'll put the um, link to the Target website below and um, you can go check it out there so that's what I use for straighteners and I think every girl should have a straightener in her basic collection and then finally 
You gotta set them curls in that straight hair with some mega hairspray. If you're a southerner, you know all about this. Um, what I've used for years, um, all my friends have used and smells heavenly is this um, Aussie Mega Hairspray. Once again, super cheap. You can get it at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, anywhere. Aussie always does a great, they're a great brand. They do a great job. So um, this is the flexible hold. So it's not gonna be stuck back to your hair um, and you can actually move it and it'll keep the shape. I've used it the other night and you can still see that the curls still have shape. Um, so it's a great hairspray to use. Paul Mitchell is another great hairspray to use. My mom uses that and she loves it. She's bought it for years. Um, I'm trying to think what other. Tresemme is a good hairspray. Um, but those three are probably my top three um, and what I use on a daily basis. So, those are just my basic hair tools that every girl I think should have in their arsenal for hair. So, uh, if you have any questions, you can definitely comment below. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and like my channel. And then also, um, for all the products that I've talked about today, I will definitely leave a link down below so you can go check them out yourself. Please stay tuned. I will also be doing a basic makeup video as well as all the things that you need to have in your makeup kit as a basic. Um, so, please let me know what you think, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.